I'm going to show you how you can authorize or unauthorize a Windows DHCP server in an Active Directory network. So to start, I'm logged on to my domain controller, which has my DHCP service installed. I'm going to open up the DHCP management console. In here, I can right click DHCP at the top and then press manage to authorize the servers. If we press refresh a couple of times to get the latest values, we can see that I've only got one DHCP server that is authorized to distribute IP addresses on my Active Directory network. So if I want to authorize another DHCP server, all I have to do is press the authorize button. I'll just then type in the IP address or the name of the DHCP server that I want to authorize. So I'll just type in the IP address and then press OK. I can then give it a name. So I'll just type in the fully qualified domain name and then press OK. So now I've got a second server, which is authorized to hand out IP addresses to the network. If you got an access denied error when trying to authorize the DHCP server, what you'll need to check is that the user account that you're trying to add the authorization with is a member of either the domain admin security group or the enterprise admin security group. As to authorize DHCP servers in Active Directory, you have to be in either of those two security groups. So if we then want to unauthorize one of the servers, so all we have to do is select the server that we want to unauthorize and then select unauthorize. And now that server has been unauthorized from distributing IP addresses on the Active Directory network. We can also do this with PowerShell. So if I just run PowerShell and then within PowerShell, we can run get dash DHCP server in DC and I press enter. And then this will return a list of all of the servers that are authorized. And if we want to add a new server, we can just do add dash DHCP server in DC. And then we can do DNS name and then give it the fully qualified domain name. So I'll give it server2022.ad.danimran.com. And then we can also do dash IP address and then give it the IP address of the server and then press enter. And then if we run the get dash DHCP server in DC, we can see that the second server has now been authorized to distribute IP addresses. And again, if we want to then remove that, we can just do the reverse. So we can do remove dash DHCP server in DC and then do DNS name and then the fully qualified domain name. And then enter. And then if I run get DHCP server in DC, we can see that it has now been unauthorized. So that's how you can authorize or unauthorize DHCP servers in an Active Directory network using either PowerShell or the DHCP management console.